Okay, we just wanted to make a, a short video. This will be, today will be the first time we've towed with our Model Y, and uh, we're just going up to the cottage. Hello. About 62 kilometers, we're gonna be towing a probably about 500 pound sea -Doo. In trailer, we have the, uh, we have Tesla, the manufacturer. Um, trailer hitch, we'll see how hard it is to get the piece of plastic off. And um, we're doing a uh, up north trip yeah. this summer. And, and we're gonna go see my grandma's new dog, Griffith, because oh. you know that old dog, there's, she had an old dog and it was a Bernie's mountain dog, she died, so she yeah. got a new doggy. She did, so our plan is we wanna tow the sea do and the last leg of our um, trip is, I don't know, 200, 250 kilometers from the last supercharger in Bancroft. So we wanna make sure uh, I'm not stopping at a level two to charge. So um, I did the calculations and I'm hoping to be around somewhere around 250 watt hours per kilometer, which would be fine. So anyways, we're gonna hook this guy up to the car, see how that goes. Okay, so I watched uh, a lot of videos on how to get this little, uh, this little piece here off a uh, Model Y, it's a 2021 Model Y and there's all these little um, pieces and something I was gonna order off of uh, Amazon to help get it off. And I thought before I do that, I would just give it a try and I just used two screwdrivers, a small and a big one. And I got it off with no problem without breaking anything. So basically, start off the little guy. There's a little uh, indent here, where is it? Right in the center. And that pulls out the first tab, you'll actually hear it click. And it comes out. And I move it my way over and there's another tab, another tab. Move my way over here, another tab, another tab, another tab here. One, two, three, four, five, six tabs. I pull out and then when I get here there's one on this side one on this side another tab on this side and then if I grab at the bottom it comes right out it's <laughs> okay no worries and that gets in no broken tabs and I actually didn't even use the big screwdriver this time. I just used a little one. I think just knowing where the, the tabs are. There's that little indent and you get the first one and I just popped each one. Came right off. Yes, sweetheart. Are you creating the jet ski? Because I was a... I am. I'm making a video right now how to attach it. Oh. You want to say anything? So this is how you get the cover off. Okay, so the Tesla comes with a seven pin adapter, the Model Y. Anyways, I can't speak for the X. Um, so I had to buy this little connector, a 12 box at Walmart. Goes from seven to four pin. So that I can hook up our sea -Doo trailer is the four pin. Okay, I got all the plastic off. There's the seven pin. It's the four pin. Let's see if it actually fits on here. Should I not open it? Open from the top. There's only one way it'll actually go in with this tab at the bottom. So it's gotta be right. All we can do is hook up the trailer and see if it works. Right? Yeah. So this is the first stitch I tried. They took this out of uh, a palisade. It fits no problem. My concern is, if you see this, I'll get this, you know, it's hitting the plastic. My concern is I don't want to do it, obviously, any damage to a brand new car. So I bought this Canadian tire. It's got no lip. And I will put it in. That's not going to hit at all. Probably flip it up the other way to get some more height from the trail. Okay, so here's what the hitch looks like with the uh, kind of two inch lower. I'm gonna try the two inch rise. I think it needs to go, be too low. Let's so with the uh, bar turned up. I'm not sure if that's too high or not. I'm gonna try it this way first. 
So all the lighting works. Um, Sea-Doo Spark, 2020 Sea-Doo Spark 3 up. Weighs 431 pounds empty. It's full of fuel right now. The trailer's 231 pounds. Um, so probably seven, 800 pounds here. Here's how the car sits. Okay, we're about six minutes, five kilometers into the trip. We're averaging 263 watt hours per kilometer, and that is all uphill for us to be to go over this garden, so it should only get better from there. Okay, we're about halfway, 33 kilometers, and we're averaging 175 watt hours per kilometer, so a little higher, but actually not that bad. And really, it's kind of a neat way with the rear camera to watch your towing in action. Make sure everything looks good, nothing's disconnected. All right, we are just arriving at the cottage about an hour later, and our energy consumption for the trip was 165 watt hours per kilometer. The average is quite good.